Good afternoon, everybody. Um, like you said, my name is Lisa Carrier, and I've been with New Path, located in Hoover, for over five years. New Path serves over 300 in individuals with um, developmental disabilities across the Middlesex County in residential settings, rehabilitation, and vocational training. Our mission is to provide people with disabilities the support needed to live, work, learn, grow, and to participate to their fullest potential in their community. We love what we do. Over the past year, New Path, fiercely led by our president and Sher our CEO, Sherry McCann, has fully embraced um, the caring force. Like all of you here, um, we've made countless calls, sent numerous emails to our legislators. I was lucky enough to speak last year at the State House rally. Um, our Westford location, my building, actually won the video contest um, <laughs> that the caring force ran. together was wonderful to witness so many staff and individuals they spoke of nothing else for four days straight they were so excited to be part of it and uh, they did a fabulous job and of course to win well that's always nice um, to prep in preparation for today I was spoken to a lot of my co-workers and um, one man Mo who I don't really get to, I've never really got to sit and chat with before um, he's been with New Path for six years Mo works with adults with intensive behaviors. And I asked Mo why he was here, why he did this job. His answer touched my heart. Um, without missing a beat, he told me that he loves teaching about dignity and to treat his people with dignity and to be a huge part of their everyday lives. As Mo works with nonverbal autistic individuals, I asked him if he ever experiences what I call the aha moments, you know, those moments when you know that you've, you've touched somebody. A huge smile came across his face, and he said, they cannot talk, but they can feel, and you know when they feel, and I know when they feel. Awesome. Unanimously, my co-workers come to work because they appreciate being part of the greater good. We are happy to drive to work every day, and that's huge. Not many people can say that they're happy driving to work every day. We work beautifully together as a team, a very strong team doing a job that's both physically and emotionally draining. Many of my coworkers have more than one job because they have to. We have families, spouses, children, one woman, a single mother, told me she pays over $500 a month in insurance. That's a huge blow to her household budget. Last year at the rally, I spoke about my husband's heart failure and subsequent disability. A disability check in my paycheck is not a pretty picture. Um, at that time, our son was a high school senior, and only through the kindness of strangers was he able to attend his prom. take out loans to get himself through his freshman year. We've given it nothing. Since that time, my husband's illness has worsened, and he is now in end-stage renal failure. I am blessed to work for an agency that is understanding enough to allow me time to get him to dialysis three times a week. It's humbling to say yes to handouts, but I've learned to. And it's humiliating not to be able to help your son pay for his own school. But I have learned that I cannot worry about things that I cannot change. We all have aging <coughs> parents, we have kids who need braces, we have chronic illnesses in our family, and we have no money. So we have stress. But still we come to work and we leave it at the door because this is what we do. So last year, members of the Caring Force packed that state house so full that they had to lock the doors. When it came time to push the salary reserve through together, with our combined voices and numbers and strength, we knocked down every door in that state house until they listened. When we got pushed back by the governor's veto. We pushed even harder and made them actually hear our words. And we did it. We were victorious. I 
think we should all be proud of that. So, we received our salary reserve, but that's still not enough. Now, we need to remind our legislators that as long as there are people with disabilities, as long as there are people who need us, we will be here. We're not going anywhere. This is what we do and who we are. So on this Valentine's Day, my heart is full. It's full of gratitude and pride. I am proud of myself for the challenges that I've faced and conquered. And also for the small part that I've played in with the, working with the caring force. Because look at what we've done. I'm grateful that our salary reserve was released. But as much as I appreciate that extra ten dollars in my kitchen, <laughs> it's not enough. My bucket is not being refilled. Most of us are sliding into payday on empty, both financially and emotionally. We are not making it. We are good people, and we deserve to be compensated for the good work that we do in caring for people that cannot care for themselves. I deserve it, and each and every one of you deserve it. We, we deserve that dignity.